Hi, my name is Carolyn Jones. I'm a life coach and a universal intelligence mentor. I've got a little story for you. During the gold rush in the 18th century, a man sold his farm to go and look for gold in Southern California. And the daughter of the person who bought the land was playing with sand near the stream. And she brought it to the house to dry it near the fireplace. And the visitor who came to the house that day realized that there were tiny particles of gold in it. So he told the guy and they found out that there was gold in that place and it made him a very wealthy man. I've got a little gift for you. My gift will help you discover gold in your own backyard. It will help you find your own greatness. Right now, the life you're living right now, what the things you like and the things you don't want are a result of your past beliefs. Your mind is like a computer. There's three programs right now running in your mind. And these programs are Number one is called delete. It helps you to focus on the thing you're doing by muting or deleting everything else that is not very important. It divides things in either important or not important. Only those two categories. Uh, have you ever sent the child to a different room to get you something and they didn't find it? And then you walked there and it was right in front of your face. It probably happened to you when you were little as well. And what did you conclude from that? probably you concluded that you're stupid or you're not good enough. The second program running in your mind right now is called Distort. We think in pictures, feelings and words. Have you ever met a new person and they told you their names and it reminded you of something else and before you knew it, your internal dialogue and your imagination went rampant. And two minutes later, you couldn't remember this person's name. And what did you conclude about it? Probably you said that you were rubbish with names. The third program running in your mind right now is called Generalize. It helps you perform similar tasks without having to relearn how to do it from scratch. A little girl or a little boy breaks glass in the house and mum really shouts because she's had a long day and the last thing she wants to be dealing with is a broken glass in the house. But the little girl thinks that her value or his value that little. Let's say the glass was 50p. They think that their value is much less than that glass that has been broken. And when they grow up, their lives follow their beliefs. Limiting beliefs are one big cause of lack, sicknesses and limitations in lots of people's lives. My gift to you will help you uncover your greatness so that you can live the life you're meant to be. So limiting beliefs are a cause of lots of hard things and, and lack and, and problems and stress in life right now. But a few people